So, four of eight for our last uh, set of installments for the Mar Matanga Minute journey. And here we are, next to our Port of the uh, Edu. And so, he's basically just going to give us a bit of an introduction about himself and then talk about some of the, um, I guess, the different sort of aspects of being a Moruhu and a Potehahi in Brisbane. So, um, it's your Potoro, Yati Kiakwe. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. I think I've heard the Iwi. 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 I'm in our Potoro Wairua, coming out of the Brisbane Pariha, in Piripono. I've uh, been serving as an our Potoro Wairua for five years, and um, it's been the best change of my life I've ever made. So, Yati Iwi, uh, our Maramatanga has the fruits. It's just there to grab. So what was it like, because um, I understand that you used to, you were raised in Kaikohe, and how was that for you as a Morihu? Well, I was one of those people that hang out with the band, the real, the Puriwuri Tour. The majority of my whanau, they are members of Puriwuri Tour, but because I was ambitious in rugby and all those those tangata, the, 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 the world stuff, uh, I never actually got the opportunity to, to join. So when I moved to uh, to Brisbane and Piripane, um, the first morning day, which was in 2013, uh, sort of brought that, that, that uh, maramatanga to me. And therefore, I, um, after the 2013 morning day, I, uh, des- I decided to become uh, a poiwotaha. Kia ora. So, what's it like over in Australia as a morning? So, in Australia, being Māori gets you, uh, brings, makes kotaitanga. Because you can identify yourself as being a, a Māori and then after that becoming uh, any hahi, the unity over there is so 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 frequent. Oh, it's simple. And we it doesn't matter what faith or creed you're from, but uh, just being Māori brings us as one. Yeah. So the benefits of that is that we get to listen to each other and there's no barriers, no walls for us to share the Maramatanga and each and every one of us and it will be Mihinare, Katorika, so, what are your hopes for the future of the Maramatanga in Australia? Mm. So, for me, it's, there's a lot of second, third generation, and it's just going to continue of um, Australian Māoris living there. So, my hope and desire is that we keep our, our lanterns or our pau or pariha operating because a lot of of course Māori, Australia is a place where some of us reside and then we also got to come back home so it's not always there for long term but otherwise um, what I hope in the future is that the the Parihas go from Australia across the world and people have places to to fuck our moimiti or to come together as the Iwi Māori. So, Ana Iti Iwi, our fourth installment with our Porto of Wairua uh, who now resides in Brisbane, so Morena, Eri Bala, Tinemiha Tu Kiakui. Morena, Otira Kiakato, no Manaki Tango, you walk in your Tatakato, and tomorrow I turn to Kumai, Aine Akane. Aye.